This video was created to help the HVAC professional install and maintain TACO equipment. Please read the on-screen disclaimer before viewing this video. Hello everybody, my name is John White. I'm here with Peter Machado. Hello everyone. And welcome to the TACO Workshop. Today we're going to be working on an FI series pump. We're going to be doing a seal replacement. Now this is a small pump, but this procedure is not going to change no matter how big the pump gets. The parts are just going to get a little bit bigger. So today we're going to show you how easy and quick an FI seal change can be. And at that, I'm going to hand it off to the professional. Thank you, John. In order to change the FI seal, we need tools, a set of combination wrenches, some sockets, a couple of pry bars, hammer and screwdriver. And that's basically all the tools you would need to change any FI seal. All right, the first thing we'll do is we'll take the coupler guard off. We're going to loosen the foot support. And we're going to continue taking all eight bolts out. Fortunately for us, this is a small uh, FI today, and we're able to pick this one by hand, but if you couldn't pick it up, you would take a strap and a, a crane or a hoist or anything like that. There is two jack and screws on, on the pump, on all the pumps, if you need to pry it out. We put a jack and screw and we'll pry it out. This comes out very easy because it's very small. Once we get the case and impeller out, let's move it away from the pump so we can work on it with these. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the impeller. Now, depending on how long it's been in the system, it can be hot to come out. If, if, it, if it is hot, then we'll use a couple of pry bars, a couple of pry bars to remove it. Okay, we're going to try this. Remove the impeller bolt. And again, if the impeller's hot, just remember to use the pry bars. Remove your seal. And now, we have to take the cover apart to be able to get the seat. The way we take the seat and sleeve out is the same way it goes back in. Now that we've got it all apart, the seat is right inside. We gotta pop that out. The way you pop that out is just go right from the back. Using a small screwdriver, you can usually pop them out. If it's real hard, just tap on it. And if it really gets stubborn, you can use a hammer because you're not going to reuse it again. And there it is. Now we're going to clean everything up, make sure everything's nice and clean, and we'll start all over. We'll put everything back now. Do not use the same seats, not unless you have to. Because uh, once you get the surfaces damaged, it's not worth it. You've had all this trouble, replace it with a new seal and seat. I'm going to clean the surface of the seat first. Get that ready. We're going to lubricate the rubber with uh, some silicone, nice and gentle. Try not to get any on the seal surface.
Okay. We're going to put the cover back on. Tighten it back up. So at this point, now all we have to do is put the impeller back and the seal. The seat, most of the times it gets dirt on them, it ain't worth using it again. The carbon seat is so usually what wears down. So disregard the parts. You can use the sleeve if you can get it off. The seals we use is John Crane Seals Type 21 Series Seal. What happens is there's a glue that comes in here for setting the working height of the pump. So when you assemble this, you have to lubricate. Using a little bit of silicone lubricant, put it right on the O-ring on the inside. This would allow it to slide down the sleeve. Very important. Once the seal goes in the pump and it's stationary, the lubricant will go away and then the glue from the seal itself will set it and that will be the working height of the seal. Every single seal has that. We'll do the same thing to the seat. We'll lubricate and put it in the cover and then that's it. We're gonna put the O-ring in and back. It's gonna seal. If you have trouble with it, put a little bit of silicone. You got the seat in nice and gently. Slide it down. Making sure it goes in. We have the impeller key. And the impeller. Very important, you got a downy washer. Should change this every time you change a seal. A little bit of rubber on it, and that can cause you a, a leak by the shaft, so. When tightening it up, once you get it set, you must torque it. All the FIs have to get torqued. This is a small one, so we're going to torque it to 18 foot-pounds. Just put a, a screwdriver in the vein and set your torque wrench until it flicks. Torque wrench is very important. We don't want to over-compress that. Now we've changed the seal. We are all done. We have to put this back into the pump. Before you do that, as you notice, we have to replace the gasket. Remove the old one, clean it all nice, nice, put it back in. Make sure the casing face is also clean, ready to accept it. We're all done, we're putting this back together. Again, this is a small one so I can pick it up. Big ones, we have to use a hoist. Now that we put it back, all we have to line everything up. Put all your bolts back in, make sure it's nice and snug. Always start your bolts by hand so you don't cross thread them. And we're just going to tighten them up right now. Doing a crisscross pattern so that you're assuring that it's nice and square. Just go back and forth. And it's okay to just double check, make sure they're all nice and tight. It's very important. Once you've done that, put the bolts back on the foot support. Couple of guard back on.
And that, my friends, is how we change the seal on an F5 pump. Visit us online for more support and information on the full line of Taco systems and components. Thanks for watching.